Hey everyone, this is James from Mad River Homestead here in Southwest Ohio. Just wanted to kind of give you a rundown of what my next project is, and that is enlarging our chicken run. So what I've done, I went to Lowe's and got the lumber to get it going. And I'm gonna be using these, these are landscape timbers. Be using those for the posts. Uh, they're less than half the cost of the four by fours, and they are just as effective for what I'm gonna need them for. Uh, then I got some treated two by fours as well. So all this wood in here is treated. I got eight, four, eight more two by fours in the garage. Uh, those are gonna be farther or higher up in the structure. So they're gonna be more protected from any elements uh, by the roof that I'm gonna put on. So to give you an idea of what we're doing, uh, we're gonna, this, this original run here is about 14 feet long and it's eight feet wide. Uh, the, the structure, the, the chicken coop itself is eight feet in length. So it's 14 by eight. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come out about two feet right here on each side, two feet, and then we'll run it down 24 feet here. So it'll be, it'll be 10 feet wide, 24 feet long. So 10 by 24, pretty large run so that when we're going away, they won't have to, we won't have to worry about them. They'll be able to come and go got an automatic door that opens in the morning and closes at night so they'll be able to come in and out of the coop um, during the daylight hours and that's going to help a lot because we usually let them out every day to free range so having a larger run is just going to help them have more area we'll have some fun things in there for them to to mess with as well uh, we'll be able to get rid of the electric because of the way i'm going to do it it's going to put the uh the the hardware cloth it's going to come out a little bit so nothing can dig under and it's going to encompass this little chicken coop i actually built this chicken coop for big chungus our rooster when we got him last year he was about two months older than the hens and they just terrorized him so i ended up building that on a sunday afternoon and he ended up spending almost the whole winter in that thing and came through with flying colors until the day he decided he wanted to be the boss of all the hens and uh, he's made them pay for their uh, being so mean to him. This is now my brooder coop. So when we had that uh, hen go broody recently, that's where we put her to set on the eggs. And right now she and the one chick that is left, because we lost one, uh, they, they are spending their time in there. Right now they're out, they're, they're back there somewhere behind the compost bins. So hopefully this is gonna be helpful for someone um, you know whether you're looking to increase the size of your run or building your run from scratch hopefully you might get something out of this video that will help all right so this is first day of actual labor and i've gotten one two three four five six holes dug so far i got four more to do and this thing right here is beating me to death but it's definitely better than trying to do it on my own with the with the little post hole diggers right there so um but what i'm done is these are my uh poles that i'll be connecting everything to i'm sorry for those of you that are good at this stuff i don't know the correct terms this will be my door and then there's another seven feet or so from there to the corner this thing right here is in the way a little bit so i'm gonna try to get that moved i already took the little part that makes the run off so i'm gonna hook my lawnmower up to it and try to drag it a little bit should be okay anyway that's where i am for now i got to get these things dug this evening or maybe in the morning if i just can't do the last one or two um because i got to get that thing back within 24 hours okay it has been a few days since i made my last segment of this video but we've had so much rain and i wasn't able to get my uh, hardware cloth which is the next part i'll be working on wasn't able to get that delivered until tomorrow anyway so um but the holes that i had dug when I went back into them, they were absolutely full of mud. But anyway, I've got all my posts in all the way down here to this corner. This will be where the door is right here. 
Uh, I've got one in the middle here, and then four on this side. And I'll tell you right now, it was not an easy job. And I'm an old man, but I'm getting there. Okay, so this is the only side that I haven't gotten the fencing up yet for. I've gotten the fencing up from on this end. Haven't done any trim work around here yet, which I'll show you what that looks like when I get around to the other side. But I've got that up and then out on this side. So still need to do the trim here, put my boards across here. At the bottom, I'll put two by fours with hardware cloth coming out about right at two feet. And um, that'll be to help predator proof it. I'll show you what that looks like when I get to that point as well. Doorway, we'll have to make a door. Um, this is what it'll kind of look like when all the trim is up, okay? I will put um, trim here and here. That's what I'll mount my door on. Um, so I'm sure there's some of you that are looking at this thinking, well, he did this wrong and that wrong, but I am not a professional carpenter by any means, but I think this is gonna be very functional when we get it done. So this is what I got done so far. Got all the upper framework done. Um, got all the, the fence up, the hardware cloth. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. I'll have a bracket right on this two by four to secure the end of this one in. And then back at the back, I'll bring this one down. So the bottom is, I think probably right around here. So it'll have enough of a pitch to get the water to run off. And then I'll have two by fours running from here all the way to that part. So the other two by fours will rest on those to uh, keep that pitch. Um, I decided to take that little coop back out. I did have it set up so it was gonna be in here inside the big run, but it was just taking up so much space that I decided to take it out. And um, I want them to be able to run around in here especially when we're not here and they're going to be by themselves maybe for a couple of days and it's just going to be so much nicer when this is covered with a roof um right now it's so wet in there we've had so much rain it just doesn't have a chance to dry up and the uh smell has gotten pretty bad and the flies just got a lot of flies so i think that's going to be remedied quite a bit once we get this all situated so i'll keep uh adding these segments okay so i'm starting to put the apron down and the bottom uh, pieces of two by four so you can see <clears throat> when it's covered you won't be able to see that as we go down here this is some that i haven't covered yet so it comes out two feet well a little less than two feet because it's stapled under the two before i stapled it on the bottom and so it comes out about two feet and i'll cover that so when animals start to try to dig under they'll usually try to do it right at the fence at the bottom of the board and they'll run into that hardware cloth and won't be able to dig so i'm going to do that all the way around and that should make it predator proof on the ground for sure well this is the new and improved chicken run so far and we got the door done do a lot of tedious stuff today. So it's pretty big. Just to give you an idea, I am about 24 feet at the end from the uh, chicken coop. And from that side to that side is now 14 feet. So we're really close to it. Anyway. Got some more stuff. Got to finish the roof. Got to make a door. And just some other little tedious stuff. So, 
poison in well, on it. I finally it. finished the chicken run, and I think it turned out pretty good. It took me a little bit longer than I thought it would because we've had some really bad weather. I've been traveling for work a good bit, and uh, but I finally finished it up just to put the finishing touches on it this morning. Uh, so let me just give you a quick walk around. Flip this around. This is what we finished up yesterday. My grandson, Demetrius, came down and uh, helped me finish up the roof. That was a lot of help, so I really appreciate him helping me do that. Um, just uh, looking at it from this end, the old um, the old chicken run was about eight feet across, and it came about 13 feet this way. This one is about 14 feet from that side to that side, and about 24 feet coming this way. So it's quite a bit bigger, a lot more room in it. So let me uh, take you around here, show you the inside. This is the apron that goes all the way around. That's just to keep anything from digging underneath because they will do it. So listen, I am not a professional carpenter by any means, but I'm always glad when I can figure out how to do something and actually make it look halfway decent anyway. I'm sure if there's any professional carpenters watching this, you'll see some things you would have done differently. Um, but let's take a look, a little walk inside. I've um, I put a, a latch here, and it latches right onto that piece there, just to keep it from blowing closed during the day in case they want to come in and get a little snack, which looks like some of them have done. Hey, Chungus, that's the big rooster. He is a Faberel, in case you're wondering. And uh, a couple of black sex links. That's an olive egger. Two of the olive eggers. Actually, all three of the olive eggers and one of our Rhode Island Reds I had to put uh, saddles on because their saddle feathers were just getting ripped out by him. My Uncle Hank says that's because they're his favorites. Anyway, um, yeah, this is the water. I'm gonna do something different with that, but it's so, so much room in here. I decided to put some things like a little swing they can jump up on and a little roosting bar over there if they wanna jump up there. Put another roosting bar here. We've got two uh, feed stations right here. I'm hanging these things because if you don't know, chickens love to scratch, even when they scratched it bare and uh so they're always kicking stuff up into the feed so i thought hanging them would probably be a little bit better way to do it this is their um oyster shells to uh, add calcium to their diet uh this is just i call this the chicken tether ball it's uh just something they can munch on that's a cabbage head that got eaten by worms and that's the dust bath they've got an automatic door so with the security of this chicken run, we will be able to leave for at least several days at a time and not have to worry about uh, anything getting to them. And there's plenty of room uh, for them. You know, normally they're out free ranging. So I wanted them to just have plenty of room if they're not gonna be able to get out and free range like they normally do. So that's where they love to go, over in the woods probably one or two back in there somewhere too so anyway i really do appreciate you uh taking the time to watch this video i hope it was you know if nothing else helpful for ideas if you do have any questions or comments please feel free to leave those and i'll answer anything i can so thank you again and god bless you and have a wonderful day